Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another word of the day. And today's word is imagination. But let me just do a quick prayer and then we'll get to the word. God, I love you and I thank you so much for this moment that we're able to share together, God. I ask that you speak through me, Jesus. I welcome you to, in my space, Holy Spirit, so you can, so we can gain the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding from your truth, God. I ask that you reveal things that we may be missing, God. I ask that you be the light to our darkness. I ask that you cover our hearts and cover our minds from all evil, but expose us to your truth, God. Let us see in the spirit. Let us hear in the spirit. I love you so much. Amen. So the word that I chose today was imagination. And the reason why I chose this word, because I believe as adults, as we grow up, we forget to imagine, and this is so very important, like you can see kids and they know how to create games from anything. They have a great imagination. They make, they go, they put a towel on their hair. It's not a towel anymore. It's, it's hair. Now, you know, they make forts and they create monsters and they create all of these fun games just from imagination. They just know how to be creative these girls they play with dolls and doll houses and boys they play with the action figures and they trucks and they come together and create a world and they just have so much fun from their imagination of small and simple things and as we grow up it's like we forget we get so adult and we get so uptight and we get so boggled down by the responsibilities of the world that we don't take time to imagine so let me give you the definition of imagination. It is the faculty or action of forming new ideas or images or concepts of external objects not present to the senses. So this is when you just sit down with yourself and you create ideas and images and objects from things that you can't even see. It's faith. It's like, it's like faith. So I just want to let you guys know let's take some time to imagine ourselves with joy and with love in the, in in those positions and in those places that that we desire and take the time to relax in that and sit in that so you can feel the emotion of it because i think we get so caught up in reality and bills and all the negatives of the world and what we have to do and what we didn't do in our past and our hurts that we really forget to just take a moment to imagine ourselves in that house that we want with that car that we want in that mindset that we want to have in that that body that we want to have you know in in that peace and whatever it is that you're seeking, sit down and take some time to imagine it. Find you quiet time and do it 15 minutes a day where you just go sit on a side. It's quiet and you just imagine yourself on the beach, you know, wherever it is that you want to be, whatever you in that career, whatever it is that you want to do, take that time and see yourself. Don't you know, don't allow the negative thoughts to come like that'll never happen. Or how could you do that? No, this is a time where anything goes. You can be a millionaire. You could be married to the man of your dreams. You could have the house. You could have the business. You could have the car. You could have the job, the career. You can have the degree. You can have it all in this imaginary land because if you could get your mind to think it, and perceive it and then you can get your feelings to feel it it becomes real it becomes real like i do this thing with my nieces y'all i tell them like to get hugs and kisses from them i'm like come here i got some candy and you know they not for it at first but then when i start like mm, mm, start chewing and i have nothing in my hand and i would just pick up something and, and mm, it's so delicious and they will go right along with me i mean they too and they three, and they would just eat that candy and eat that candy. I even have them pulling them out, pulling it out the air like, mm, mm. And they just think it's so fun because they imagining whatever they imagining. 
Even if they, they imagine they candy, they imagine they cookies, they imagine and they chips and they eating it out their hand, they eating it out the sky. And it's funny because it's like the innocence that they have to go along with it. So we need to get like that. We need to get innocence like a child where we just we're playful and we imagine ourselves. You know how you was young and you played school and you played house and you played all of these different games. You know, uh, you was the teacher. You was the, the person that checked the person out at the cash register and you had so much fun. Imagine yourself is that in that position. Imagine yourself in that place. Imagine yourself with that spirit. Just imagine yourself. So I suggest 15 minutes of the day, you take time to imagine yourself in whatever way you want to see yourself. It's unlimited. Like, it's no limits. It's no limits on how far you could think and smile and laugh and, like, get involved with it emotionally. And, you know, I know we tend to think that, oh, if I, you know, I'm setting myself up for failure because it'll never happen. But you setting yourself up for failure by not believing. And let me give you a scripture. Um, it's Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things and for me that scripture means imagine yourself imagine these good things happening imagine these good feelings imagine these good people just imagine yourself in whatever way you feel that you want to see yourself maybe you want to travel around the country you know, maybe you want to learn a different language. Maybe you want to live in a different uh, set, a different culture. Whatever it is, is like it's your imagination. Get lost in it and take 15 minutes out the day and just enjoy not being in that present moment of what we want to consider reality. Just enjoy, you know, find that childlike behavior inside of you and really enjoy and imagine sometimes I get so caught up in imaginations I can't even sleep because I can see myself living out the purpose in the dreams and living out these things that don't match where I'm at now but I can just see myself so vividly clear so I could just see myself so clear and I believe that it's gonna happen I have convinced myself that it is true so I love y'all and I hope this helped and I hope y'all practice it. I know it sounds funny. I know it sounds ridiculous, but try it. Take 15 minutes out of your day and just imagine. Just let your imagination go wild. Like dream whatever it is that you want to dream. You know, you can even um, watch some kid movies. Like watch some nice kid movies that kind of bring that kid out of you, that childlike behavior out of you where you can just kind of relax and not be so adult and so responsible and so, you know, strict on what it is that you need to do and how you need to do it. Just take a few minutes out the day to just be childlike and imagine. I love you so much and I'll talk to y'all next time. Mwah.